Hey guys, so in this video I want to give you a demonstration of how I think you should use the maze ball or uh, you know, let's say the slip bag, whatever you want to call it. And I think the first major thing that you need to understand is that this is not really to teach you slipping, it's more to teach you rhythm and how to work your punches and your slips together. The reason why is if you don't have proper slipping technique, this thing isn't going to teach you. For example, I could throw it and then I could just do some weird shit like this or you know, like that and it's not going to hit me. But that's not proper slipping technique. So you need to know proper slipping technique before you use this. But what the maze ball is teaching you, slip bag, is to throw your shot and move. Throw your shot and move. Throw your shot and move. Because if you don't, this thing's just going to take your head off. And what I've done here is, I mean, you can make your own anyway. I just, I uh, put some hockey tape around a tennis ball and I put a hockey puck at the bottom for weight just because I like to have a little bit of weight. And this is just uh, a lace, like from a boot, but you can use anything you want. You can shoelace or string. I, I don't recommend using anything heavy, heavy rope because that will make this a little bit lighter. So you want the weight to be strong at the end. But anyways, let me just demo some things I like to do off this and uh, show you how you can get it going. Okay, the first thing that's, that will help you is if in front of your maze ball you have a mirror or something in front of you. Because you don't want to be looking at this. These are punches. You want to be looking at your opponent's chest or up neck or chin. Some people like to look at the eyes and head. Wherever you like to look, I recommend this area. And punches coming at you are just consequential, inconsequential. That's not, you don't want to pay much attention to them. So the first thing that you're going to do is you want to be able to slip this and throw a shot. So here I go. I slip, I throw my shot, and I roll. Right here it goes. Right? Or here. Okay? I slip. Okay, I slip, and I throw my shot. Now the second thing you notice is I slip, I throw my shot, I gotta move again, otherwise this thing's coming back. I mean, I would say that you're gonna get in three shots max off of your first slip before this thing comes back. So here, if I go, I got three in, and I had to roll off that hook, otherwise I wasn't gonna make it. Or here, I threw the two, three, two. Okay, even slipping on that. Okay, these are short punches. Okay, I threw my two, three, two, and then I moved my head. Here, right, or here, right? Your punches all, won't always be the best quality because you're really trying to work on getting them out there and moving your head after. So you you got to work on your speed and your timing to get your rhythm going. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Is you're going to move your head, throw a shot, move your head. Move your head, throw two shots, move your head. Move your head, throw three shots, move your head. So here. One. And then I move. Or I can slip back outside. Slip back. Slip. Slip back. Slip. Slip back. Okay? Or to the right. Slip. Slip back. Or roll with it. Okay? Then I'm going to get in two shots. Okay? Two shots. Two shots. Okay? And then I'm going to move my head. Or I can get in three shots. Three shots. Three shots. Okay, and get my head out of the way. Boom, boom. Throw that shot. Okay, and that's the rhythm you want to get going. The other thing is, just like in real boxing, you want to throw your shot, move your head, throw your shot. So here I go. Okay, through my shot. I'm working on the two shots before, two shots after. Okay. Or slip outside. Okay, so that's what you got going on. Three before. I'm going to duck because it's coming at me. I'm barely going to get it. Okay, see how that's working? Okay. 
okay? Throw my shots quick, move my head, throw my shots again, move my head. I've got it, or else, bonk. Okay, I'm gonna get nailed with this thing. So in real boxing, that's the rhythm. Bam, move my head, bum, bum, move my head, bum, bum, bum. He throws, move my head, bum, bum, he throws. Move, he throws, bum, bum, bum. He throws, I come back. Okay, make him miss, make him pay. That's what this is teaching you, but it's also teaching you to move off your shot. Another thing that you can do about this is work your slips and your ducks together. So here, I slip the first shot, I turn, I duck. You duck as I turn, boom. Okay, here, over. Just like some four-way ducking drill action, but this way you can get slipping and ducking in there. I slip, 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 okay, I'm moving around, this thing isn't always perfect, doesn't always behave itself, sometimes eventually it's going to veer off, but just work with it, have a little bit of fun, oh, look, you caught me there, you know, peripheral vision, Okay, so see what's going on there. Punching, moving my head, punching, ducking, punching, turning, ducking, 